Okay, we have a little challenge today. We're going to change the batteries in a UPS that's in this rack here. This is a very common UPS made by APC, which is a division of Schneider Electric. And this is called a Smart UPS 3000, which is a 3 kVA industrial grade UPS. They've been around for many years, but they've been modernized a little bit over the years. The front panel on the newest ones has a d more digital display on it. Um, but really inside they haven't changed much and this one this model I have is particularly one of the ones that's known to be really robust So it's actually getting quite old, but it works great But you can see on the front. I do have this red light indicating that the battery is now dead So we are going to do something really fun We're going to change these batteries while this rack as you can see with all the lights flashing uh, is actually up and running. We're running several workloads under VMware in a couple of servers and a whole lot of network configuration, a lot of PoE. So we want to keep everything goes through the UPS, all the phones. So we are going to now pop the front of this UPS off, which easily comes off. All I did was pull the, the corner off here and it just comes right off that front cover. And then the battery is actually this piece right here. So the first thing we're going to do is remove three screws, okay? There are one, two, and three. You do not need to remove these ones. These are actually part of the battery unit itself. We're going to take out this whole battery unit. So taking out the screws one at a time. Great. All right. Now, here's the tricky part. This is the power that comes from the battery going into the UPS. And I'm going to unplug that now. So this is where we're actually going to disconnect. And if the power were to go out, the power on the entire rack would drop. So you really want to do this when you have stable power. You don't want to do this during a storm or in a situation where you might have precarious power. But our power is solid. And we're going to just pull this connector out like that. There's no clip or anything. Nothing has to be unsnapped. This also has a swivel, which is convenient for getting it out of the way when you pull the battery out. Now, this battery is quite heavy. They recommend that you have two people move it, but I'm going to do it myself because I've done it before and I know it's not that bad. This is the battery unit. Okay, so I'm going to put this right over here. And inside here are a bank of batteries. And we have a new set of replacement batteries. There are two ways to do this. You can actually buy this entire module, all the metal and everything, and that costs about twice as much as what I'm about to do, which is to just replace the batteries that are inside it. So if I take one of these batteries and show it to you, see these are... Uh, all ready to go color coded with polarity and to get at them inside the battery module itself only takes four screws one two three and four and now when we lift this off you can see that these look just like those. In fact, I've replaced them before with the very same company that I bought from. There are a lot of third-party companies. You can buy them directly from APC, but I've chosen third parties. They're a little less money, and when you are going to do it this way, uh, APC actually doesn't sell the batteries on their own. They just sell the whole unit. So this is a far more cost-effective approach. They need to be replaced about every three years as well. So over time, this will add up if you're paying for the bigger module. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and change all of these batteries out. And then I'll uh, do that in time lapse for you. And then we'll come back and reinstall it. And hopefully it all worked. You can see here that I've removed the old batteries and laid them out in the same pattern and orientation as when they were in the carrier module cartridge. And I've stacked the new batteries on top of them in the same way. This will help avoid any confusion when putting the new replacement batteries into the cartridge. 
Be sure to consult the documentation for your specific UPS model for the correct battery replacement type, safety information, and whether hot swapping of the battery is permitted. Not all units support this feature. This older model of UPS takes the RBC43 type of battery, but that battery is still in use today in many similar units. If you'd like to buy this specific battery type, I've put links in the description below. So the first thing I always like to do when I do this is to make sure everything went well. And the way I'm going to do that is by measuring the voltage right at the battery connector part. Positive on the bottom, negative on the top, and I should get somewhere... It's a 48 volt pack, but there's no load on it. So I should be getting somewhere in the 50 range. There we go. So we're getting 51.9 volts, which is totally fine. With no load on a 48 volt battery, you will get a little over voltage. I'm going to take that module and put it in. The rack is still up and running. So I'm going to carefully lift this reasonably heavy unit up. Go straight in with it. And now we will connect it. Now you can see the battery is still flashing with the X and that's because we need to do a test and the way we do a test on this actually it just went solid it may actually stabilize and go green here in a second but we should run a self-test and you can run the self-test either from the software which I have installed on a machine or I can also just simply hold down the test button for a couple of seconds you can see that the lights are flashing, it's performing a test, it's on AC right now, that means it's looking at the battery, and now everything looks happy. The battery says it's full. Uh, we're currently running on AC because the power is coming into the mains, and this was a successful battery test swap. So the last thing I'm going to do is just uh, screw back these three screws. the cover on and voila hopefully this video helped you with your UPS battery replacement and if so please give the video a like also please subscribe to my channel every new subscriber really helps a lot thanks